Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I was just reading When God Was a Rabbit by Sarah Winman. It is a nice story about sibling relationships that might make you stop to think about your own. It is a great addition to any bookshelf. Pick up your copy today. So now I'm going to switch gears to talk about the books you should be thinking about this holiday season. My number one pick for those of you with a sense of humor is You Have to F Eat by Adam Mansbach. It is the long-awaited sequel to Go the F to Sleep that reminds parents and grandparents it's okay to laugh when things get tough, but never ever read it out loud because you don't know who might be listening. As for kids, I recommend The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. If you are unsure about this book, don't be. You'll enjoy it just as much as they do, if not more. For young adults, I recommend Goddess Inheritance by Amy Carter. It is the second book in the series which follows a girl named Kate who completes challenges to be the wife of Hades. It leaves out adult situations and focuses on the action which will keep girls and boys entertained long past Christmas. Finally, for adults, I recommend Frog Music by Emma Donahue. It is about the unsolved murder of a woman who is also guilty of not following the law herself. Sounds like the next summer blockbuster, if you ask me. Before I wrap up, here's some food for thought. F. Scott Fitzgerald is also famous for using slang terms long before their time. In the 1920s, he used the words wicked, t-shirt, and daiquiri in his first novel, This Side of Paradise. So if you're also an avid writer, consider tossing some new slang terms in your book, because you never know what will be popular a near century from now. To find out more about the books I discussed, or to submit your own holiday picks, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Tune in again next week to find out my prediction for book sales in 2015. I'm Taylor Bush, and you've been watching Book Break.